the big problem with every environmental organization, people trying sustainability initiatives mm -hmm. in companies, is indifference. And it's, it's because we're talking, the narrative we're giving people uh, is speaking to the wrong brain system. We've got to engage the, the positive reward system. So the footprint is all the bad we do. There's something called a handprint. The handprint is the sum total of everything good we do. So, you know, if you bike instead of driving your car, if you take your own bag to the grocery store. So we need to start thinking this way and thinking in terms of what can we do that will enlarge our positive contribution to the solutions. When we talk about carbon footprints, we're engaging the wrong part of the brain. Where you engage a system for threat, the system for emotional distress, the system for fear, for anger, for depression. What we should be doing is engaging the reward system, the system that keeps us going, that feels good about what we're doing, that motivates us, that where we get enthused, where we get energized. And there is a way to do it. There's a new math, actually, that we need to get involved with. First, you have to know your footprint. Second, you have to uh, subtract from that all the good things you do, mm -hmm. that is your handprint, and keep trying to enlarge it. The third thing, Liz, is tell everyone you know because we can go to scale, we can multiply, and we have an incredibly long way to go and we get there faster because to the extent this goes to scale, it would create a market force that would drive the entrepreneurial innovation. One of the 10 largest employers in the world is piloting now a program of having its employees compete on their handprint. The more this is in the air, the more kids grow up with it. They will go through life then thinking about their handprint. And that, that will vastly accelerate our ability to stop the train. Right now, we're stuck. Mostly our choices are legacy choices. We need to get competitive on good handprint choices. To do that, we need a market force. We need consumers and we need businesses that are looking to enlarge their handprint. The bottom line is this. We need to tell a story in which each of us is a hero and not a villain. Every company needs to. Every organization, governments can do it. Mm -hmm. Towns, schools, uh, NGOs can think about handprinting. And the more we do it, and the more there's a metric, uh, as this goes to scale, the ship can turn in the better direction.